Uh, hey guys, just wanted to do a video on my PC. It's, it's something I've been building for a few months, just adding bits and bits onto it. And it's finally finished. Uh, so, obviously I've taken the front end off. This is where the front would go. And so let's turn this on and then I'll go over each of its individual sort of things. Its components. So, at the front, we have two fans, one here and another one down there, putting air into the case, moving into here. We have a Noctua NHD14 heatsink, and it has two fans across it, uh, which are the F12s. Another F12 at the back, and there's another F12 at the top. Uh, going to the side fan, uh, this is a Noctua S12 and this is primarily for the graphics card which is a GTX 580 the Gigabyte Super Overclocked I think it was one of the best versions along with I think an MSI one so there's a joint two best graphics cards I have it there and yes it is a tight fit as you can see here the PCB is kinda of bent if I had like five more millimeters it would have been it would have fit perfectly in, but I had to cut off some of the shroud uh, from the bottom here. Uh, sound card is an Olsentech XFI Forte 7.1, the best gaming sound card. Not the best for music, uh, it's the second best for music, but it is the best for gaming. Moving on to here, uh, a Crucial M4 128GB SSD. I don't recommend, I do recommend this, the Crucial M4, what I don't recommend is 128 gigabytes. I think you need 256 minimum, or at least 160 minimum. Down there is a one terabyte hard drive, uh, I don't know what the brand is, I just had it lying around. So uh, The CPU is an i7-2600K. Uh, I've currently have it set at 4 GHz, but it can go to 4.6 without any issue whatsoever. And obviously it can go beyond that, but then I have to do manual voltages, which I don't want to do. Um, let's see, oh yeah, I have 16 GB of Corsair Vengeance RAM, as you can see there. Running at 1600 MHz. Some of the other stuff I did was like, cover up. So you can see there's a piece of plastic there. That's just to cover up any open area so there's no dust coming in. Uh, another area back there, piece of plastic. Now the way these fans have been set up is that at idle, this 1, 2, 3, 4, they run at 300 RPM. And then these guys run at 500 RPM, 1, 2, and 3 on the side. And then obviously under load, uh, this will start to increase uh, until 70 degrees when all the fans are at their maximum. But basically these four fans work together, they all run at the same speed. And then these four fans, they at least have the same voltages going towards them. I mean, each fan is unique, they're not the same model. This is the P14 Flex, this is the P12, and then that's the S12. So they all work at slightly different RPMs. Uh, oh yeah, the power supply is a Seasonic uh, 1 kilowatt fully modular power supply and it has a neat button on the other side um, I'm not sure I can get it, but it has a button which uh, turns the fan of the power supply off uh, when, you know, under idle or under low usage A GTX 580 doesn't really get it, <laughs> let it get that much low usage but for most of the time it's off and it's really hot and humid right now so I can imagine in the winter it'll be off most of the time um, I believe that's it oh yeah there's a red LED down there and then a white LED in front here um, and yeah I, th I do think that's it I mean any future additions I'll have to add to this PC will probably be <clears throat> another GTX 580 probably of the same model and then what I'd need to do is cut into the shroud of the hard drive cage here 
And then that's it. It would be a GTX 580 SLI. Oh, that would suck a lot of power from the PC. Uh, so that's the PC. If you want to look at the other pieces of the setup. Um, Audio-Technica AD700 headphones. Blue Yeti microphone. And these I use across both, uh, both PC and consoles. This Astro Mix Amp goes to the PS3, uh, which has food on it. Yeah, I don't really respect my PS3 now. Uh, but anyway, uh, so the PS3, TV for the PS3, and then at the back the HD PVR. And it's all messy. That's the pop filter for the microphone. Uh, let's see. Yeah, my speakers are crap, but... I don't know, they work. They work well enough now, or even even though the subwoofer's broken. There's a sub down there, but it's broken now. This is my old 32-bit PC, which is connected to this keyboard, that mouse, which does nothing but double-click. Yeah. Um, and then up here we have a PS2, and then a TV, which is connected to the PS2. So it seems like every <laughs> PS3, the new PC, the old PC, they all have a TV connected to it. Uh, I wish I could have just like a three-way monitor setup, um, but no, no such luck. Uh, Logitech G500 mouse. In the future, I'd want to put a new keyboard, a mechanical keyboard with a um, a scroll uh, key for the volume. That's something I want. There's only a f there's only two keyboards I know which do that, and they're all like s just north of the hundred pounds. So <laughs> I'd rather not pay that much. I'll wait for a price drop or two. But anyway, that's the PC. Oh, let me show you the software which controls the fans. So you get it. So these are these are all the fan speeds right now. Focus. There we go. So the two CPU fans. Uh, it it doesn't have each individual one, but the CPU fan here. Those are the two across the heatsink. CPU fan optional. That's the one at the top and the back. Chassis fan two are the two intakes at the front, and then the chassis fan one is the new fan which I just got today, which is a side fan for the graphics card. And then if we go on fan expert. See here, uh, these are, you, you kind of choose three nodes and then the fan speeds increase. So up to 40 degrees, the CPU fans are running at minimum, the four fans at the top. And then for chassis fan, because they're three pin, the chassis fans have to run at a minimum of 40%. Whereas the four pin PWM fans can run at, I believe it's 21%. And then these go, you know, these are the speeds. Um, what else? Let's see what else. Another thing we can do, if we go on the EPU to save energy, we can press max power saving. And when we press max power saving, if we go back to the PC, the intake fans, basically the chassis fans, so one, two, and three, these fans stop, the CPU can't go higher than 1.6 gigahertz, which is its minimum speed. And the graphics card, if it was an ASUS graphics card, that would be underclocked as well, and undervolted. And usually I put this on if I'm uh, using BitTorrent overnight, uh, but most of the time, high performance, and the fans kick in again. Um, I believe that, oh yeah, and the monitor is a 1680 by 1050, uh, 1610, what else, it's a HB 22 inch monitor, and it's, it's extra wide, hence the sort of weird resolution 1680 by 1050, uh, it isn't great, um, but, uh, new monitors are expensive, it, and if I do buy a monitor it'll be like one of the best ones. What I'm going to wait for is the 
the 2K and the 4K monitors to come out. And if they're too expensive, then I'll buy the 1080p monitors, which will then be mainstream. Alright, anyway, that's all. That was my setup. That's what I'm going to be gaming Medal of Honor with. Black Ops 2 on the PC, which, by the way, will be DirectX 11. So, it'll be a glimpse into the next generation of COD. So, that should be interesting. Although, it'll probably take three months before the game's actually finished after release. But hey, let's see what happens. So, this has been my setup. And until next time, take care. And finally, a shot of the PC all closed up. So this is the front of it, you can see the fan, that's the mesh, which will stop dust from getting in. Moving over to the side, you see the graphics card on all the fans, all the wires, the SSD. Uh, myself personally, I'll have all the LEDs turned off, I just, I don't know, I like them to be there. Ideally, they would be connected to this button here. And I would turn them on and off, but unfortunately the power delivery on that is like digital and then these fans are analog power, so analog ground at least, so it doesn't work with that switch unfortunately. If it did, that would be awesome. And I could turn the lights on and off as I wish, but right now I'm just going to pull the, uh, off the, off the three pin headers which they're connected to. Uh, the power supply is connected it's sort of sucking air down here and I'm expelling it here. It isn't right now because it's off, but so it has its own sort of airflow. It doesn't take away from the graphics card, which will make it even hotter because the graphics card runs really, really, really hot. Uh, the GTX 580. I mean, I mean, here's the thing: this fan is currently, you know, taking air from the case and expelling it, but that's only because of the design of the graphics card. If the graphics card was a reference design, I'd have the fan face the other way and it would put air into the case. But the way this graphics card is set up, it just puts hot air out into the entire case, so I need to have a fan expelling it. But the reference design, the only way it uh, expels air is out the back. But this current design, this is the setup I have, and it's finished. Uh, only thing left is another GTX 580, which I don't need. There's no game right now that <laughs> is going to use two GTX 580s at this resolution I have, which is 1680 by 1050.